preview is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Hey guys, I'm here with Armin from Coffee Stain Studios who has made what I think is the literal dumbest game out of every video game that there is. Uh, tell us about your game, Armin. It's literally the dumbest game out of every video game yes, that there correct. is. <laughs> uh, it's called Ghost Simulator. Uh, it's also the most fun game in the world as well. Uh, it's inspired from old school skating games, except instead of a skater, you're a goat, and instead of doing tricks, you make people angry. That's not l the best elevator pitch for a video game I've ever heard. Well, first of all, why why is it not Goat Simulator 2014? Are you worried you're stepping on your own toes when you inevitably annualize this? When Ubisoft picks it up and you, when that happens? It's more like this is so timeless that I think that it's going to be uh, the Goat Simulator of all years. Okay, so you're not going to it's not going to require updating because it's already perfect. Uh, well, actually, we're shipping with Steam Workshop support, oh. so players are going to be able to do whatever they want. Uh, they're going to be able to make their own goats, their own levels, their own missions, whatever they want. How did, let's let's back up. How did this come to be a thing? Because I remember it was like a game jam game at first, right? That first YouTube video that kind of went viral. Uh, yeah. So uh, we just we, we we had been working on Sanctum for years, so we just wanted to do something that was different. Uh, this was the dumbest idea that we had so far. Uh, and uh, two weeks in, we put up a uh, video on YouTube, and now it has like three million views. And people were like, "Please release this for real." So we are, and it's coming April first on Steam. That's a kind of hilarious. It is actually coming out on April first. That's not a joke. This is a real video game I just played. Yeah, it's actually coming out April first. Gotcha. But, but I, I love the fact that people are actually not really believing us that we're going to release it for real. So right. I, I don't want to confirm anything. For no, it's not too late to back out. Um, at what point did you realize that this was a thing that people would pay money for? That this is a real, actual, valuable product that you have on your hands? By the time that people came to us and said that, that this was a product, they would actually pay. Actually, yesterday, some people uh, threw, li literally threw money at our CEO. I think we got like $37 or something. Wow, that's pretty good. That's better than some Kickstarters I've seen. Can we get a hot exclusive on any special goats that will be in the game? Uh, there's a tall goat uh, and there's a feather goat. Cool. Is there an escape goat? <whistles> Uh, no, but actually I talked to the developers at Escape Goat, they're huge fans, we're fans of their game game as well. Sure you guys might be the only indie game that doesn't have a Meat Boy cameo, but does have an Escape Goat cameo, it'll be great. That's awesome. Well, cool, thanks for talking to me, dude. I am going to play this game as soon as I legally can. I can't wait, wait till we play it. Thanks. Thank you. So, after seeing Goat Simulator, you're probably wondering, what kind of upkeep can I do to keep my goat at home nice and well kept? Well, luckily, that's where Dollar Shave Club comes in. Dollar Shave Club ships razors directly to your door for a fraction of the cost of buying them in person. Shave time, shave money, and join now at dollarshaveclub.com slash rep3games. Oh my god! Is that alright?